is going to make your dreams happen for you. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. It is a new day, new to-do list, as you just saw. Same iced coffee as you also just saw. Anyways, as you can tell by the title of today's video, we are in a new era now. It is called the Do Not Disturb Era. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I definitely recommend listening to my latest podcast episode that I just released. It's called Do Not Disturb Girl Era. Reinvent yourself and level up your life. I explain a little bit more about what this new era is about. And if you want to get started in your own Do Not Disturb Era and just focus on yourself and bettering yourself and leveling up your life, I definitely recommend listening to that episode because I share journal prompts. I share the steps that I'm taking. I'm obviously sharing on here too, but that is a very in-depth uh, episode that I think would be very, very helpful for anyone who's looking to start the new year off right and you just want to focus on yourself. But a little bit about like what this era is about essentially is I just have been feeling like for the past few weeks and few months, I really haven't been giving my all with my goals, with my career, with myself. I feel like I've just been making excuses, um, being a little lazy and just not doing my personal best. I know what I'm capable of, I know what I can do and I just owe it to myself to show up every day and just do my personal best and that is what I'm focusing on from now, from this moment to like quarter one, which is the end of March of 2023. I am going to be in this like do not disturb girl era where I am just eliminating distractions, eliminating excuses and just showing up for myself and my goals and really working towards living the life that I desire to live and achieving the things that I desire and in the next few vlogs and things like that I will kind of be doing a visual diary and bringing you along with me in this do not disturb girl era this is technically like my first week of this new era and so this week specifically I am focusing on refining my goals so I already did like a bunch of journal prompts which I shared on the podcast as well so I already did like a as I was saying, I already did like a huge brain dump of what I want to do and my intentions and my goals for this new era. But today I'm going to really refine and clarify my 2023 goals as well as my quarter one goals, which is something that I'm doing differently in this new year when it comes to goal planning. I have received a few questions about like how I like to plan my goals and things like that, which just a FYI, I am recording a new year's theme episode. I asked you guys on my Instagram stories if you had any questions on how I can help you prepare for the new year and you asked some really great questions so just to kind of give you an idea of what i'm doing differently this next year is instead of setting like monthly goals like i did this year which is totally fine i feel like that works i just want to try out this new method and see how it works for me i've never set quarterly goals specifically it's always been my yearly goals my monthly goals so that is what i'm doing today and then i'm also creating a digital vision board today i do like to do like my physical vision board watch let me show you guys actually <clears throat> this is my vision board from this year i absolutely love it it's a little bit beat up right now because my cats like to chew on it nonetheless this is my vision board from this year i really love making vision boards to me they're fun and it's also inspiring to look at and it really is a great reminder to help you like stay focused throughout the year anyways let me just wrap up this by saying that i know how it feels for each year to go by and nothing has changed and nothing is different and you're sick and tired of how things are and i'm here to tell you the only way that your life will change that you will change is if you show up each and every day and do the work that's necessary no one is going to make your dreams happen for you no one is going to save you from yourself you have to make this decision to change your life and that starts with your mindset it starts with your habits it starts with your routines and the things that you do every single day that is what changes your life and i am here to remind you of that. I hope that these videos inspire you to do the same and I am going to go ahead and get started. 
on my goals. She takes up the entire desk, the entire desk, and I just get this little teensy tiny little space. I just deal with it because I love her. Let me try to move her this way. Okay, so this is kind of a weird angle, but I wanted to show you guys my new planner that I got in the mail yesterday. I am so excited for this. This one that I got is called the Get It Done Planner. This is the binder that I got, and again, I'll link it down below, and this is sold separately than what is inside. So this is the first few pages. This is a quarterly edition planner. It has a goal setting section, daily rituals, a daily task planner, daily tracker, weekly review, and quarterly review. So the the first few pages includes quarterly lists, so my bucket list for the first quarter, books I want to read, things I want to try, people to catch up with. Here is where I will write my three main goals that I want to focus on. And then it also has a section where I can write my rituals for the quarter. Basically all the habits and things that I want to work on in the first quarter. And it has a weekly planner where I can just write appointments, meetings, things I'm doing, my weekly habit tracker which is going to be so helpful as well as a weekly prep section basically intentions and things like that so it's going to be really nice to have one place where i can just stay organized and on track and after the weekly prep section then you get into the daily planning so it just has you know a section for each day which is so nice and then at the end of every week there is a weekly self-check and and review section so you can reflect on how you did towards your goals each week things that made you happy you know just checking in with yourself and if you are showing up for yourself and um, following the quarterly goals that you created for yourself so that is what the inside of my planner looks like I am so excited for this planner if you want to check it out yourself I will link it below they also have a few other options as well that might be more fitting for you all right, you guys, so I just finished making my vision board for 2023 and I am obsessed with it. I love how it came out. So just to kind of show you guys what each area represents, like over here, we have my career goals and just wanting to elevate in my career, health and wellness related. This is like personal goals, tapping into my feminine energy more, cultivating new friendships, traveling more, all of that good stuff. And I ended up printing out my vision board from my printer that I showed in my last vlog. And what I'm going to do with this is either glue or tape it in my planner under the vision board section I just think it would be so cute to have this right here it fits perfectly so I think it'll just be so nice to have this here so when I open my my planner every day I can see my vision board on there step two in my do not disturb era journey so i answered a few journal prompts and i wanted to share with you the journal questions that i asked myself and share a little bit of what i wrote but i have to remind myself when i do do this kind of deep internal work is that every single journal session every single time I meditate or do any type of internal work, work on myself, every little step is slowly chipping away at the old and making room, you know, for new and better to come into your life. So, so the first journal prompt that I asked myself was what beliefs am I still holding on to that are preventing me from leveling up? 
and I really wanted to get super clear on all the things that I still believe about myself that aren't helpful or that are holding me back. Basically, a lot of my limiting beliefs stem from feeling unworthy, a little bit of imposter syndrome, and the next journal prompt that I asked myself was, where do these beliefs stem from and who placed them here in the first place. I really like this question because it serves as a reminder that the things that we are currently subscribing to are not ours to begin with and we can we can choose to unsubscribe from them. And the next journal prompts that I asked myself were how can I begin to let these belief systems go and why is it safe for me to leave behind these beliefs? And the last journal prompt that I asked myself, it was more of a fill in the blank kind of journal prompt, but it is I choose to embody and subscribe to the beliefs of dot 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 dot. So essentially the first journal prompt is identifying the limiting beliefs what they are, what they sound like, what they look like. The second journal prompt is to identify where these limiting beliefs came from. And the third journal prompt is to help you release these belief systems and give yourself permission to let them go, to no longer believe in them. And then the fourth journal prompt is now replacing those limiting beliefs that you are choosing to let go of and replacing them with beliefs that actually serve you. Most important part in all of this is once you choose to subscribe to new beliefs, you have to actively show up for yourself each day and remind yourself of these things. Your brain is not automatically going to believe these things. You have to integrate them into your belief systems. So that's kind of my process of flipping my belief systems and choosing to believe thoughts that better serve me. But anyways, that is the update in my Do Not Disturb era project that we are working on.